Hello, my dear friends of electronics. Today, I invite my colleague, Ralph Regenhold. Hello, Hello, Ralph. To talk about one situation when the customer wants to redesign a fixed voltage DC-DC converter to a variable voltage. So, which kind of model we can offer to him? Mm -hmm. So, uh, you are looking at a very simple uh, three-pin device, yeah. which has input pin, uh, ground pin, output pin. Simple no design. external um, components are required. Not at all. And your customer probably wants a similar functionality, very simple one. So we designed this part in a QFN package. And the only thing we added is an external resistive divider. So what we did is we integrated the input capacitor, we integrated the output capacitor, and we um, Pro, uh, we provide a an, an pin for the output voltage resistive divider. So you can set the output voltage from 0 0.8 to 17 volts. So the only one components additional is this re resistor divider. Yes. All right. And the input voltage of this um, part is 4 to 18. What is the maximum voltage and output voltage and current? So output voltage uh, 0 0.8 to 17 adjustable through the resistive divider. Currents, there are three different versions available, a one ampere, two ampere, and a three ampere version. Great. Okay, let's see that in action. Mm -hmm. I know from previous video that even it's a completely encapsulated DC-DC converter, we still have the chance with the probe, if we put the probe on the top on him, mm -hmm. and we want to see the switch node, would you please, um, Make a single shot? Yeah, so with this you see the correct operation of the device. I set the input voltage to 18 volts and the output voltage is set by the jumper to 9 volts. We look at the signal coupled uh, from the switch node and we see a perfect shaped rectangular switch mode. A nice 50% duty cycle, yeah. Yes, which tells us the device is uh, fully functional. How about the maximum load and um, how about the light load? What is the possibility what uh, he can do? So the maximum load is just given by the device, one, two or three ampere. Okay. And uh, for light load, uh, we can reduce the current. So right now I have one ampere mm -hmm. and I will reduce to 50 milliampere and see what the device does. Okay. That's three trigger. So we see here the light mode operation. Mm -hmm. The energy that uh, the load needs is very little. So the module doesn't need to turn on uh, for a long time. So it turns on shortly and turns off. And then you see a, os a slight oscillation. And that is normal for the light load operation. So everything is fine. Cool. And how about when sometimes, you know, the input current can drop almost to the output, uh, the input voltage can drop to the output voltage. Mm -hmm. What is the maximum duty cycle with which this device can handle? So the device can handle 100% duty oh, cycle. Oh, I want to see this. Yeah, let's have a look at this. So current back. we go back to one ampere of load current. And then we look at the shape. Perfect again, okay. 18 volt input. Now we reduce the input voltage. I will start with 15 volts to see um, what happens to the duty cycle. So you see mm -hmm. the duty cycle already gets longer. Mm -hmm. Now let's reduce it to 10 volts, which is close to the output voltage. Yeah. And look at the signal again. Uh -huh. So you see we're already getting at the edge of the discontinuous mode. Mm -hmm. And now we reduce the input voltage to 9 volt, which is exactly what the output voltage is. And what you see, we're at 100% duty cycle. Crazy. And the input voltage 9 and the output voltage is 8.8 .8 uh, volts. So we're very close to each other. The high side MOSFET is permanently on. And you have a little drop of voltage across the MOSFET. Correct. 
Nice. I like it. So thank you, Ralph. That was really amazing. So I hope you find some nice idea how to use these modules. And please watch my next videos. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.